Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using extensions in your Google Chrome web browser, then just a quick heads up, because Query Security has published an interesting post, which I'll leave linked in the description, which highlights the fact that this popular extension from the Chrome Web Store, FreeVPN 1, which by the way is a featured extension with over 100,000 users, is not behaving as it should and is actually spying on you. Now that's all according to the post, check it out. I'm just going to give you a quick overview for the purpose of this video. Now according to the post, it said that most people turn to a VPN for one reason, privacy. And with its verified badge, featured placement and, and 100,000 plus installs, free VPN 1 looked like a safe choice. But once it's in your browser, it's not working to keep you safe. It's continuously watching you. So basically how this works, according to Query Security, is in practice, while you move from page to page, the extension carries out a series of suspicious actions. And what we are looking at here is DevTools showing captured Google Sheets tab with sensitive data. And then once these screenshots are taken, they are taken through what they're calling a sophisticated mechanism, which basically takes place without the user even knowing that this is all happening in the background. Now, according to the post, the screenshots are taken 11 seconds after a page loads, which basically ensures that the content has been fully rendered with your potentially sensitive information. And it's also mentioned that although the extension does not disclose that it will take a screenshot of your page and upload it, if you utilize the AR threat detection feature, according to the post, it periodically takes snapshots even if you don't use this particular capability. With Koi Security saying, if we just scroll down to this section, it's mentioned, to its credit, the privacy policy discloses that this feature may upload page screenshots and URLs to their secured service. What it doesn't tell you is that the extension has already been taking many more screenshots in the background long before you ever click that button. It said that the UR presents it as a one-time local scan, but the surveillance is already well underway, according to the post, as we can see. Now, over and above that, the security firm also claims that the extension requires excessive permissions and it queries location and device details on startup and sends them to a server as well. Now, Quest Security says that while FreeVPN 1 initially started out as a so-called harmless extension, the developer began integration of malicious code in April of 2025. So heading back to that said article, and for this, if we go right down, almost to two-thirds of the way down the article, yeah, we can see version 3.0.3, .3, which arrived in April of this year, started opening the door. And it's said that it arrives like any other update, quite unremarkable, but hard in a critical change, which is the all URLs permission. It meant the extension could not access every site you visited, far more than a VPN should need. At this point, although the permission allowed broader access, the content scripts were still limited to the VPN provider's domains. No spying yet, but the door was now open, according to Koi Security. Now, according to the post, the security team reached out to the developer of the extension, who said that the automatic screenshots are taken for suspicious domains only as part of the background scanning feature, but it has been spotted that snapshots are captured even for mainstream domains like Google Photos and Google Sheets, as mentioned. And the developer also said that the feature is enabled by default for now, but will disable it in a future update. 
It was also mentioned from the developer who claimed that screenshots are not retained or sold for monetary benefits, but when asked to provide proof, he stopped responding to emails, according to Koi Security. And as mentioned, this is quite concerning because this is a featured Google Chrome Web Store extension. So maybe that could change in the future, but go read the article, check it out, and uh, let me know your thoughts. Obviously, I'm just giving you Koi Security's perspective. If you are interested, read the article. It will be linked and tell me what you think. But just a quick video to give you a quick heads up that if you are using that extension, uh, then maybe you should just delete it and find yourself another VPN extension. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.